day and welcome to Star Wars 101. Today I'm going to tell you about Luke's second vision on Dagobah. That's right, in Legends Luke has a second trip into the dark side cave. But before we start, make sure to force choke that like button and blast that subscribe button for more Star Wars videos every week. And with all that said, let's do it. So in the beginning of the book Heir to the Empire by Timothy Zahn, we see Luke very sad and confused with everything that's happened, and especially with Obi-Wan, Anakin Skywalker, his aunt and uncle, and Yoda's deaths. Even Obi-Wan's Force Ghost had left him during a Force vision, telling him that he had to move on to what lies beyond. For the third time, he'd been orphaned. He tells himself, Then I am alone. I am the last of the Jedi. Fast forward a few chapters later, and he decides to go to Dagobah, and this is to find answers about why he's been losing track of time when he connects to the Force. He thinks about how that used to happen when he trained with Yoda, so he leaves, secretly hoping that he also finds Yoda's Force ghost there. After him and R2 arrive on the swamp planet, he finds Yoda's home crumbled to pieces. He asks R2 to scan for any tapes or books, and R2 picks up a signal. R2 leads Luke to the dark cave, and a sudden feeling of dread seizes him. Thinking of how much stronger the pressure of the dark side felt now that Yoda was gone, Luke ventured, once again, into the cave. Nervous and somewhat afraid, but trying to keep it at bay, Luke was relieved to find that Darth Vader wasn't there to haunt him again. Thinking that there was nothing else the cave could throw at him in a vision, Luke called to R2 to see if he was getting close to the signal. But, right in the middle of a sentence, Luke entered a surreal vision. He was on a small, open-air ground vehicle, hovering low over some sort of pit. The ground itself was indistinct, but he could feel a terrible heat rising all around him from it. Something poked hard on his back, urging him forward onto a narrow board protruding horizontally from the vehicle's side, and suddenly the scene became clear. He was back on Jabba the Hutt's skiff, being prepared for his execution in the Great Pit of Carcoon. Ahead, he could see the shape of Jabba's sail barge now, drifting a bit closer as the courtiers jostled one another for a better view of the coming spectacle. Many of the barge's details were indistinct through the dream mists, but he could see clearly the small, dome-topped figure of R2 at the top of the ship, awaiting Luke's signal. But Luke called out towards the vision, I'm not going to play this game. I'm not. I've faced this crisis too, and I've defeated it. But his words seemed dead, and he could feel the spear of the guard behind him jab at his back. He dropped off the end of the plank. In midair, he twisted around, grabbing the end of the board and flipping high over the guard's heads. He landed and turned back toward the sail barge, hand extended for the lightsaber R2 had just sent arcing toward him. It never reached him. Even as he stood there waiting for it, the weapon changed direction, curving back toward the other end of the sail barge. Frantically, Luke reached out for it with the force, but to no avail. The lightsaber continued its flight, and came to rest in the hand of a slender woman standing alone at the top of the barge. Luke stared, feeling a sudden rush of horror surge through him. In the mists with the sun behind her, he could see no details of her face but the lightsaber she now held aloft like a prize told him all he needed to know. She had the power of the Force, and had just condemned him and his friends to death. And as the spears pushed him again onto the plank, he heard, clearly through the dream mists, her mocking laughter. And this is where the vision ends. We will find out later in the book that the woman who called the lightsaber to her on the barge was Mara Jade, because as it turns out, in Legends, she was there ready to kill Luke Skywalker. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed just as much as I did that part in the book Heir to the Empire of Luke's second Force vision in the Dark Cave on Dagobah. I will try to get a video out soon explaining Mara Jade's story on Jabba's sail barge. If you enjoyed, like I said before, make sure to force choke that like button and blast that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our weekly Star Wars videos. Also, make sure to comment what you think about Luke's vision. And with all that said, have a great day and may the Force be with you.